Alright, let's continue. Now we need to uh, hit this uh, button up here. Now I could have sworn when I used to play this there were enemies that used to appear around here. Yeah, we need to slow down time. Like this. Yeah, I could have sworn there was enemies around here. Even the epic music started playing, so what the... It must have been a glitch or some sort of thing. Ah! We have enemies here. Kind of makes up for it. I meant to throw them over the balcony. There we go. Oh, you want some more? I'll give you some more. There we go. Yep, that's that's it, right. Lovely. Let's go. What do you want from me? Oh look, it's that guy again. We've seen a couple of times already. I wonder if he's gonna become important later on. What are you doing, Psycho? Now, I meant to flip him open. Okay, that works. I ain't complaining. I'm supposed to have done a... F I'm supposed to have flipped him over the side. Uh, no, I end up flipping myself over the side in the process. Really bad camera angle. There we go. I was just tapping anything to see if there was a weapon dropped and I, I, I knew there was, uh, had to be at least one weapon on the floor. Right, now. Yeah, like hell am I going to do that at normal speed? Uh, no, no. Come on. You're supposed to aim towards the other column. Like that. Then jump. Any sand? Or would you believe it? No ruddy sand. That's alright. I'm sure I'll be able to fill them up in no time. Oh, oh, nearly. Now we've got to wait for this to go up. We have to wall run over here. And then do this. Before I progress, I just want to go over to the other side. Because I remember correctly, there's a chest. Artwork chest around here. Get rid of these dogs. There we go. And this lever here uh, is what that guy in the black was um, doing before he legged it. So he activated something. I don't know what he activated. <laughs> Alright, so it's this guy again. We know this by now. We'll go behind him. Attack his... Attack the back of his legs. And then we jump on his back and beat the living crap out of him. Now I've only got one bloody sand tank left. I want to see if I can do this without having to rely on the sand. Oh, that's quite a bit of damage. You want more? I'll give you more, mate. There we go. Oh, sorry, yet. Yeah. To hell with it. Gets it done over. Gets it finished over and done with. I've got my sand tank back anyway, so I ain't complaining. Right, so does any of these contain sand? First of all, I just want to show you this. Oh, look, artwork. Now, up here. We can't go across this way because this is an exit from a location. The exit 
we will be visiting. Well, where that where we come from from that angle, from that point, we will visit later on. So we don't need to worry about that route at the moment. We need to deal with this dog here. Surely one of these has got to have sand in it. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, well, well, one minute this. Really? No sand? What? Excuse me? Well, let's try that again, shall we? Luckily enough, click on retry and it sends us back sh to here. I've got you that time, you bastard. Didn't you have to use my sand tank? Either. Right, with this, we've got to... Where these um, blades, as they were, there's gaps in them. You've got to roll underneath them. To get past them, alright? Otherwise, they're going to keep pushing you back. No, turn around. That's it. Lever. That opens the door to our next location. Carry on rolling around here. Now, that water that I'm walking on, that um, you can hit, um, replenish your health in it like any other bodies of water. But I ain't gonna bother. Uh, no. Well, that didn't work how I wanted to do it. I was hoping I was going to knock one into the other. Right, for that, get here. Right, one's down. Just the same enemies we've had before. We shouldn't be having any sort of problem. We know how to deal with them. Come on. Pick up a better weapon. Collect the sand. Again, no more sand. Right, gotta be careful here. I don't trust myself. Take your time, psycho. There we go. to wall run above the uh, the saw blade. If you try going underneath it, you will get caught and you'll be thrown off. There's no point in trying. Usually with these sort of trap filled corridors, there's, it's like any other sort of puzzle, there's one real solution to solving them. You might find a couple of other solutions, but there's one that it's... I don't want to do that. There's one that it's... Like, there's one way that you're supposed to have how you're supposed to do it. We really need to put my teeth back in because I'm trying to explain things and I'm... Trying to play this and trying to explain things at the same time is not a good combination for me. Oh look, we've got a sand portal coming up. Nice. And again, to activate the samples, we've got to hit the switches in the correct combination. No. Up. Oh, not that one. Alright. Okay, so what one is it then? Oh, it was that. What? 
that one. Okay, nice. No. There we go. Wait for the sand to appear and then we enter it. And as always, if we go through a sand portal, we get a new... A new something, as it were. You gain Breath of Fate. The power lets you do a strong ground attack, hurting several enemies simultaneously. Use this power when the prince is surrounded by enemies. While blocking with R1, press and hold L1 to launch the Breath of Fate power. Alright, yeah, so... I will show off that power at some point. But for now, let us progress. Personally, I'm a big fan of, um, of, of, the, of that power. Quickly save here. Let's continue. Yeah, I'm not a real fan of, of uh, that power we just got because... Um, it has its uses in a couple of places, but apart from that, it's not really good. Um, there is a power we do get very soon that is freaking awesome. And let me tell you now, I will be abusing the hell out of it. Now with this, uh, you notice I've done a bit of a boo-boo. I need to go back. Mind the uh, block. I need to get up on this block and then wall run over. Wait for it to come back out. Like this. And not get squashed in the freaking process, psycho. And then we can just casually walk around these around these. Oh, that was close. That, I, no, I don't want to do that. That's what happens when you don't concentrate. What you're supposed to do is stop wall running and hop over here. I like how not all of them, but I like how in the in the game's present that some of the traps are still working. Not all of them, but some of them are. And the, one, and the ones that are working are run down and barely have any speed to them, so you can easily dodge past them. He says knowingly. And this is the game's way of telling us again of where to go. We've got to go over here. First of all, let's deal with these guys. Still no freaking sand. Oh, nice. Kicked him right in the face. And I got myself a new mace. Where the freaking hell did you come from? Bloody hell, you nearly gave me an heart attack. Ouch, don't want to do that. Right. So yeah, as the uh, game explained to us, we've got to drop down here to this red um, banner, slide down it, and then leap off. Well, not leap off, drop off. And these are moving so slow, you don't really need to slow down time for this. It's so easy. It's essentially going back to where what we've done. Instead of it being in the past, we're now back in the present. Oh god, it's them guys. It's the ninjas. With their knives of steel. You've got to push it the other way. Well, you don't really need to push it. As you can see, it's already active. Because we already activated it in the past. See how time travel works? Obviously, no one 
no one in the past decided to switch it back off. Don't you just love it? Come around here. Hey, we finally have sand. Not that I need it because I've already got a full bloody supply of sand that I can have at the moment. Ah, oh, see what needs to be done there. Take out these guys first. You know what? As I've got the sand, I'm going to try something. It might actually make this fight a hell of a lot quicker. Or should I? No, wait a minute. I, I do these normally, but against those ninjas, you know how fast those ninjas are. Well, just keep watching. Uh, ouch! I've got very little health left. I need to not be stupid. Now I'm back down to one sand tank. Oh, I've got my sand back. Now this is what I'm going to do. See how far the ninjas are? Well, if I do this... Makes it a hell of a lot easier. Waste of a sand tank, I know, but at least it gets rid of them quickly. Right, where are you doggies? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no! Oh crap, right, okay. Seriously? I'm dying stu on stupid situations. Well, let's try this again. We're back here. And this time, got a bit more help. And look, I have just blew up the door. Well, the planks of wood blocking the door. I don't need to deal with you guys anymore. I don't think I disease anymore turning up. I'm not going to bother with you. I'm going to progress. Or at least these are stationary, so you can just uh, roll underneath them, as it were. You just leap over here. Yes, I know, I know. I could have replenished my health, but... Eh... Where's the fun in that? Right, no way of going around there. That's essentially going back to where we came from. We want to get down. Get down from here? Oh crap, I can't remember. Um. Um, wait a minute guys, wait a minute, I'm trying to remember how you freaking do this. No, I don't want to freaking... That was stupid. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to go down. Can I go down this side? No, that's not how you do it. Did it drop down? It, there we go. I know there must be a... Well, there's got to be a way of getting down. That was the way. Let's deal with this dude. One sand, sand tank back. Oh, frick it. Sod off! Bloody ninjas. Get 
Get a new weapon. Always like to chop and change the weapon from now on, uh, from now and then. From time to time, just so. Yeah. Slowing down time is the best way to deal with these guys. Right. Ah, uh, no, you're supposed to roll down the stairs, psycho. We'll wait for the other one to come up. Like that. Okay. Uh, dogs, piss off. Seriously, piss off. Last dog, come on. Done, right. Time to progress and the spooky music is playing. You need to go up this ladder. Okay, that's not how you do it. Definitely need to go up this ladder though. Keep going up. Ah, yes, I remember now. There's a, yeah, you see, an opening. Got to leap up into the opening. And now we need to wall, wall run up here. And you'll see like a little ledge on the uh, spinning plinth in the middle. You need to leap over to it. Like this. And we have to keep, and we have to do this a couple more times going up. See, puzzle, puzzle situations like this, I used to love doing, if I weren't dying. Uh, no, you don't. That was stupid. Where's the leap up? Come around the side, where there's the opening on the other side, you see there. Stand up, and then we leap up to another opening directly above us. Like that. And it's pretty much the same puzzle going up. Not much to really talk about at this point. Only that we're halfway through the mechanical tower and I'm not looking forward to the garden tower. That's my least favourite of the two towers. That's why I usually like forgetting that the story, you know, it's logical for the story as well but that's why I like I prefer to do the garden tower first it gets it out of the way with but for this playthrough I thought I'd change it up and start with the mechanical one now with this we gotta do is leap off onto that switch leap back on the plinth wait for it to turn around and then leap into the opening not like that Like this, there we go. Oh, fountain, I'm just going to quickly save guys. Okay. Oh look, more dogs. I wonder what these bastards want. Well, directly behind me is a breakable wall. That can only be destroyed by the fires, or by the, explo by the explosions of one of these dogs. I've got to try and get one of them to explode right by it. Like we did in the uh, other room before. 
There we go. This machine. It must activate the mechanical tower. I need to find a portal. I hope that whatever disaster befell this place has not yet come to pass. Let's hope so too, otherwise we're not going to be seeing the Empress anytime soon. Now here we need to wall run and then leap from side to side. Oh look, we've got more of these ladies. Kanawichis they're called. That's their in-game character names. Kanawichis. The Kanawichis. Like, it's pronounced either Kanoichi or Kanoichi. It's one of the two. Either way, we're slow down. They're a hell of a lot easier to, to handle. There you go. I like how, compared to the first print, the first, um, game sands of time the princess become more a lot more angry and a lot more aggressive in his dialogue and speech I love it an, an angsty prince well wouldn't you be if you got someone chasing after you for your blood change change his weapon again I like how um, how it's uh, a, a big coincidence that um, um, a tree that's uh, gr that's grown internally into the side of the, of the castle has got um, ledges on the outside of it for us to climb up. Think we go up here? No, we don't. If we drop. If I drop down here, oh no, no, I see what I got to do. Yeah, I got to leap over it. Yeah, not like that. Yeah, there's a a panel that's sliding up and down on the side. Got for it to come down and then wall run, then leap off of it. Or oh, maybe not. I go down that way. That would be the better solution, Psycho. Fall into my death, apparently. A much better solution. Oh, can we cheese back? And we now know exactly how to deal with these ladies. Dual, dual fighting, slow motion. Oh uh, no. That's what you need to do with speedy enemies. Slow down time so that then you're more faster than them. Now it's just a case of coming down this ladder. <coughs> now I have noticed that... Um, we haven't seen a certain a certain person in a while. But if memory serves me, he'll be making an appearance very, very soon. 
I remember the first time I played this, every time he appeared, he scared the crap out of me. I never, obviously, never played it before then. Never knowing what to expect. He'd appear, and I'm like, oh, shit. I think you can all guess what I'm talking about, or who I'm talking about. Well, they will die at your sword, Prince, if you manage to get a proper attack in and attack and attack them rather than doing stupid things. Come on, a couple more attacks and he should be done. Well, there are more than a couple of attacks. Oh, piss off! Uh, I've got very little health and no sand tanks. <laughs> Bitches, die. Thank you. Grab a sword. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, my very little bit of health. Come on. I'm hoping that this is where um, we get to the portal. Oh look, it's the Dahaka. Now we've got to leg it from him. I've got very little health left and I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, that was quick. And he just stands there w uh, waiting. Yoo-hoo, come and get me. Seriously, mate, what are you waiting for? Piss off. Uh, no, I want you to hit the switch. And do this. Oh, no, not you guys. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with them. That's why the Dahaka was waiting. Dodgy camera angles. That's alright, let's go around here. And look, sand portal directly ahead of us. Haha, <laughs> up yours, you wanker. And for the time being, he's gone. Now we've got to press these switches. There's one, two, oh bloody hell, again? Bloody hell! I'm just that good. Now we had a sand power last time, so what are we going to get this time? We're going to get a new sand tank. You gain new sand tank. A new sand tank lets you stock more sands of time. So now we can store up to four sands. Four lots of sands. Which is nice. We've got two more sand tanks to uh, unlock. But uh, I'm going to save it here guys. And then we shall continue.